Richard Miles here with Science in 60-ish Seconds, brought to you by the Science Center of Iowa. Today I'd like to show you a really interesting device known as an UDAN coil, which is actually a high-frequency, high-voltage electric current generator. So it generates high-frequency, high-voltage electricity. And I'd like to show you first how high-voltage it is. Voltage is basically how hard the electricity is pushed. Now electricity is actually moving electrons. So when these electrons are experiencing high voltage, they're going to be pushed to move really, really hard. And depending on how high that voltage is, we may be able to see them jump from one conductor to another. So because the UDAN coil is high voltage, the electrons are actually being pushed from the UDAN coil to a conductor that gets close enough, even jumping through the air. All right, well now I'd like to show you another neat property about this. We just saw how it's high voltage and what that can do. Now I'd like to show you what's neat about it being high frequency alternating current. Alternating current is basically when electrons oscillate back and forth. And high frequency means that they're oscillating back and forth really fast. Now an interesting thing about electrons when they're moving is that they always create a magnetic field around them. And if these electrons are moving back and forth, they're creating a changing magnetic field. And whenever electrons are exposed to a changing magnetic field, they can move. They, have, they feel a force that compels them to move. And so what I have here are some gas tubes that have conductors in them that have some electrons in them. And when I bring the UDAN coil close enough to one of these gas tubes, and the gas tube gets inside the magnetic field given off by the UDAN coil, we see light inside the tube. And that's because the electrons are actually moving because they're exposed to the changing magnetic field. And as they move through the gas, they excite the atoms of gas and cause them to give off light. So we're seeing proof then that changing magnetic fields make electrons move. That was done with a carbon dioxide gas filled tube. Here I've got one filled with helium. Different gases have different atoms, so they'll give off different colors as the electricity flows through the gas. Now notice how when I bring these close, there's no electricity flowing from the UDAN coil into the gas tubes. So the only thing that's making that electricity flow inside the gas tube is a changing magnetic field. And that's basically wireless electricity. And you may have actually used something like this at home with a cell phone charger that's in the form of a pad that you plug into the wall and you just put your cell phone on the pad and it charges your cell phone batteries without actually being plugged in. And it uses the same principle with those changing magnetic fields. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. hope you learned something. And if you want to see more cool stuff like this and learn more about electricity, make sure you come out to the Science Center of Iowa and check out more of our really awesome demonstrations and programs. Thank you.